How are you doing? Not good today. Not good. Uh, Hollis Theodore is having a tough day. I see the other one. My arthritis is flaming up and, you know, it's kind of upsetting. How long has this been going on for? Well, I know it's about a month. But she knows she's in good hands with Dr. Michelle Johnson, her primary care physician. She's been my doctor for the last five or six years. Yeah, so she knows my history and my background, which is great. And she gives me good advice. Dr. Johnson works hard to make sure she always gives good advice. She's a staff member at the Whittier Street Health Center in Roxbury, Massachusetts, one of the busiest inner city clinics in Boston. She sees it all. Diabetes, we have some musculoskeletal, low back pain, and obesity. How are you today? Good. How are you? You're good. Every year, she makes sure to take time out of her busy schedule to attend a PrimeMed conference and exhibition program, where she knows she'll learn about new treatments for her patients and information that could help Hollis's arthritis. You're really able to apply the information that you get from PrimeMed pretty quickly here in, in, in your office practice, and that's really helpful. PrimeMed is the largest medical education company in the United States. Collaborating with the country's nationally renowned medical organizations, PrimeMed helps clinicians deliver superior quality patient care through a network of live meetings and on-demand access to information available at PrimeMed.com and through PrimeMed Mobile. And judging by the feedback on Twitter, physicians are impressed. What you should expect from PrimeMed in the future is continued commitment to world-class excellence in therapeutic insights with the leading experts in the world across a variety of engagement solutions. But more than that, you should expect us to stand for insights in public policy, insights on practice management, and anything that's relevant to improving the way you operate your business, serve your patients, and over time, live your life as it relates to a very busy practicing clinician. So it's a great experience. There's only one reason why Dr. Sobroto Bhattacharya signs up for PrimeMed year after year, his patients. I may not be able to fix it for them, but you know what? I would like to be available there to walk with them as they're dealing with it, whichever way the end comes out to be. And that's what we have tried to do in the practice. The main hurdle is done. Mm. Dr. Bhattacharya works out of the Danvers Family Practice, a full-service suburban primary care facility 20 miles outside of Boston. I have seen people go from middle school to college, and it's, it's awesome. Trista, hi, come on in. In a day in the office, there's about 35 to 40 patient visits. He counts on PrimeMed for in-depth, one-on-one, meet-the-expert sessions, product testing, and networking. His main goal, learning how to manage his patients' chronic conditions like diabetes and heart disease. As expected, it's been a big success. There are tricks that we didn't know existed that are instantly applicable. There are things that you will hear which are like an aha thing, you know. All right, I didn't know that there was that reference I could go to, or this site that I could see, or this resource that I could use. Gosh, didn't realize that people are doing it in this way. These ones that just cover your nose. I, I do much better with face-to-face -face encounters. It's not just what they're putting out on the slides and talking. It's the entire role of the presentation, the chance that you get to ask them a question, the feedback, the curbside consultations. It works for me a lot better than a webcast. Former U.S. Senate Majority Leader Dr. Bill Frist, a PrimeMed keynote speaker, would second that notion. Today I'll talk about using medicine and health as a currency for peace. Along with Dr. Frist, PrimeMed has teamed up with the country's top medical experts and establishments. PrimeMed itself gathers together 4,000 doctors, all of whom come here with the sole purpose of becoming better professionals. And that's important in this day and time when people are looking, people want to do their very best. Can't raise an what that translates to is the end goal of any doctor, a happy patient. That's what this is all about, is really delivering good care, good quality care to your patients. And if I'm the best that I can be, it will really serve the patients very well to have a good doctor.